Okay guys, and um, just um, a video explaining some stuff I'm doing for an adventure map at the moment. Um, so first of all we've got a quest. Just going to have to reset my quest here. So first of all, in order to get quests in like an adventure map, I've got these three uh, console uh, command blocks sorry, um, put here. So this is adding um, the actual scoreboard and the objectives. So it will come up that you've got the score um, for the quest. This is used to have specific numbers um, detailing parts of the quest. So next we've got this, which is setting the display of the sidebar uh, on the quest, which will appear in the side of the screen. Uh, and then this is just putting out a game rule so that you, can, you can't see what's happening with the command block. So if I do this, then when you do that it just comes up that you can see there reset all scores of player but if you step on here when you first join the map you now press that and it won't show up so now those two there that's setting up the the score um, for the quests so what we'll do for example this guy here has got a quest for us to do so we'll press this button there you go, about 100 blocks worth of supply drop, please bring back what you find in there. Okay, so what's powering that is under here. Uh, and we've got here, which is just telling you what um, what it, he wants to say to that player. Um, and we've got that. And then here we've got um, add, add a quest score 1. So now you can see it in the, in the side there, quest snowstorm 8 1. So we use that to determine what sections you can get to in the quest next. So we're going west, I think this is west, probably not, and um, it's probably not 100 blocks. But So now we've got a chest, uh, and what this chest will do is it's going to power, using a comparator, these two command blocks. Test at player, well done, now take it back, and this one here is going to add an extra point to our quest score but it's only going to do it if you've already got one quest if you've already started the quest back there okay so we're going to open this we're going to take the end part we've already got one so we don't really need to worry about that uh, it says well done now take it back okay so let's take it back using the end pearl here okay so I'm going to come down onto ground level here and then you shall see as we get closer we have another command block that's going to show this to us. Thank you, please place the item in the dispensary. Now what this is, if I can find it, here it is, is there's a redstone clock here, which is going to be powering this um, command block, which is going to be testing for a quest score of 2. So this one only, which will only appear if you've actually gone and got the item from over there, and then that's going to tell us, thank you, please place the item in the dispensary. Okay, so now what we're going to do is place the end pearl in there, and there you go. Thank you. Here's your reward: a diamond sword. Now, in order to do that, uh, as you also notice on the side, we don't lo no longer have a quest score. So what this is doing is using a comparator and a redstone repeater. You can't complete the quest more than once because it's already got an end pearl in there now, and you can't access it from up there. So you can only complete each quest once. So this is console command: give player that's no diamond sword players this is resetting your scoreboard so you can go and do more quests now and then this one is telling you thank you his reward a diamond sword okay so that is how you create a quest in minecraft um, and then another thing for the adventure map okay so now we're in survival and as you can see we're in a shop here so a diamond sword will cost you five levels of experience and a diamond chest plate will cost you ten levels of experience ignore this little gap here this wouldn't be here so as you can see I'm pressing buttons and nothing's coming up because I don't have five levels of experience. So give myself five levels and still not working for that one. But if I click this now, I have a diamond sword and it's taken my five levels. So how it's doing that is it's giving you the diamond sword there, the um, level minimum of equal five. And this is taking the levels away from you again with the level minimum of equaling five. Okay, and now again, it takes up to ten. A bit overboard there. And then this one here, diamond chest plate, ten levels. 
and there you go and it's taken 10 levels away and this is exactly the same situation it's actually got a different code for diamond test plate and level minimum 10 and then minus 10 levels and level minimum 10 now with the minus you've got to have an L there because otherwise it's going to take 10 XP orbs which is obviously not 10 levels uh, and then you've got the redstone comparators uh, and I think that's a repeater yeah oh no just repeaters sorry not comparators get confused with this texture pack for those so that is how you create a shop so now you've got quests and a currency system in your map for whatever it is you want to do uh, for me it's going to be an RPG map but this is the exact same system that I'm going to be using uh, when my map comes up so yeah thanks for watching guys and see you next time bye